Olimiakos Piraeus BC, also known simply as Olimiakos, is a Greek professional basketball club, part of the major multi-sport club Olimiakos CFP, based in Piraeus. The basketball club, founded in 1931, is one of the most successful in both Greece and Europe, a traditional powerhouse of the Euroleague and the current intercontinental champions. They have won three Euroleague championships, one Triple Crown, one Intercontinental Cup, ten Greek League titles and nine Greek Cups. They play their home matches at Peace and Friendship Stadium. The first major achievement of Olimiakos in European competitions was their presence in the European Champions Cup semi-final group stage in 1979, but it was in the 1990s that Olimiakos made their biggest mark. They reached the EuroLeague final in two consecutive seasons, 1994 and 1995, being the first Greek club that ever played in a EuroLeague final, and they won their first EuroLeague title in 1997 achieving the first triple crown for a Greek team. As European champions, Olimiakos played in the 1997 McDonald's Championship and reached the final of the tournament, where they met Michael Jordan's NBA champions, the Chicago Bulls. Olimiakos returned to the very top of European basketball in 2012, when they won their second EuroLeague title in Istanbul by rallying from 19 points down in the championship game to beat CSKA Moscow 62 a Euro 61 on the last shot of the game, achieving the greatest comeback in European basketball finals history, and one of the greatest ever seen in continental basketball. In 2013, Olimiakos won their third EuroLeague title and became the first Greek club, and only the third club in European basketball history to become back-to-back -back European champions in the modern Final Four era of the EuroLeague, after beating Real Madrid 100 the Euro 88 in the final of the 2012 Euro 13 EuroLeague Final Four in London. Some of the greatest players in European basketball have played for Olimiakos over the years including, Vasilis Spinoulis, Eddie Johnson, David Rivers, Linus Kleiser, Theodoros Papelkas, Alfonso Ford, Dragon Tala. Angstrom one half Arco Pasporge, Dino Raya, Roy Tarpley, Walter Berry, Alexander Vokov, Kyle Hines, Costas Paper Nicolao, AC Law, Rasho Nesterovia, Fabricio Alberto, Nikola Vujaya, Arta Raskania Overs, Arvidas Mayajorskas, Tia Sidney and Milo Teodosia. Under the ownership of billionaire Greek brothers Painagetis Angelopoulos and Giogos Angelopoulos. Olimiakos made a record transfer in 2008, by signing NBA player Josh Childress, whose US$20 million net income contract for three years made him the highest paid basketball player in the world outside the NBA. History, 1930s R Euro 1960s Beginning in the 1930s, Olimiakos was the first Greek team to familiarize itself with American-style basketball as Aleko Spinaudakis learned to imitate the American jump shot and his brother Giannis Spinaudakis met basketball legend Bob Cousy and practiced many of his secrets on the court. The Spinaudakis brothers led the club to its first Greek championship in 1949. The second title didn't come until 11 years later, in 1960 which allowed the Reds for the first time to qualify for the European Champions Cup. It was their first ever participation at the European level as well. 1970s are Euro 1980s, it wasn't until 1976 that coach Fdon Machtha managed to create a strong team based on the stars Steve Jatsogla, Giogos Kastronikis, Giogos Barlas and on strong team players like Paul Malini and Pavlos Diakolas. Olimiakos would win another Greek title and it did so in unprecedented fashion, running off 22 victories in 22 games. Reds completed the first double in their history, winning the Greek Cup, while they did very well in the Cup Winners' Cup as well, reaching the last eight. The next year Kostas Morauzis was appointed as head coach and the team won the Greek Cup, after eliminating Panathinaikos with a record-setting 110 a Euro 68 away win. Malini led Olimiakos with 24 points, while Kastronikis scored 22. In 1978 the team did their second double in three years, winning both the Greek Championship and their third Greek Cup in a row, beating AEK 103 Euro 88 in the final. In 1979 the club also had their first significant success in Europe, 
reaching the final round of the European Championship. The final round of that year was one of the toughest ever in the competition. Olimiakos finished six, winning only one game, the 79er Euro 77 home victory against Maccabi Tel Aviv. In general, Olimiakos was a tough home team and although they lost all the rest of their home matches, the scores were really close, 84 a Euro 95 to Joventut Badalona, 68 a Euro 72 to Emerson Varese, 97 a Euro 101 to Real Madrid, 83 a Euro 88 to Bosnia. Olimiakos won another Greek Cup title in 1980 which was the last of the successful Jatsoglo a Euro Kastronikis era. In 1979, 1980 and 1981 Olimiakos finished at the second place of the Greek Championship. Although the 1970s was the most successful decade for the team up to that time, the 1980s marked a low period for the Reds, who didn't manage to play a major domestic role, being outshined by the up-and-coming superpowers from Thessaloniki, Aris and PAOK. The team was led by Greek players such as Demetrius Maniotis and Argyris Kambouris, the hero of Eurobasket 1987, but their strong effort wasn't enough to bring any significant results. Well-known players such as Kerry Scurry and Todd Mitchell couldn't lead the club to success. 1990s It was in the 1990s that the Reds made their biggest mark. The middle of that decade belonged to Olimiakos, not only in Greece, but also in Europe. In the 1991 Euro 1992 season, Record holding Greek basketball coach Giannis Ioannidis left Aris to manage Olimiakos, the torpid giant, and created a tough, team oriented, offensive basketball team. In addition to this, Olimiakos left the old Papas Tratuo Indoor Hall to move into Peace and Friendship Stadium, an indoor arena at that time of 17,000 seats and the biggest in Greece until the Olympic Indoor Hall was inaugurated in 1995. By that year the club had fully rebounded, climbing all the way back to rural Greece. They finished second in the Greek league behind PAOK. The five consecutive championships, five consecutive Greek championships from 1993 to 1997 and two Greek Cups in 1994 and 1997, made the team the indubitable dominant club in Greece. During this period, Olimiakos was the best supported basketball team, not only in Greece, as Peace and Friendship Stadium was full in most of their matches, making Olimiakos invincible in it, but in Europe as well. In addition to their domestic success, Olimiakos became the most successful team in the EuroLeague of that period, leading FIBA to select them as the best team of Europe in the decade of the 1990s. In the 1992 Euro 1993 season, in their first year in the EuroLeague, they didn't manage to qualify for the Athens Final Four which was held at their home court, SEF, as they were eliminated by Limoges CSP in the quarter-finals. However, despite finishing fourth in the Greek A1 regular season, they won their first Greek championship since 1978, defeating PAOK in the semi-finals and Panathinaikos in the finals, even though both of Olimiakos' opponents had the home court advantage. The following year, Olimiakos finally reached, for the first time, the Final Four in Tel Aviv. They faced their arch-rivals Panathinaikos in the semi-final, beating them 77 a Euro 72 and becoming the first Greek team to play in the EuroLeague final. The Reds, despite being favourites to win the European crown, lost 57 a Euro 59 to Joventut Badalona in the final. Finally, they managed to win a domestic double against PAOK and Ereklis in the Greek League and Greek Cup finals respectively. In the 1994 Euro 1995 season they reached their second EuroLeague Final Four in Zaragoza, facing again their eternal enemies Panathinaikos in the semi-final. They defeated them one more time 58 to Euro 52 and reached a final for the second consecutive year. There they played against another Spanish team, Real Madrid, which were playing on their home soil and managed to defeat Olimiakos 61 a Euro 73. In the Greek league they managed to win the championship in the best of five finals, with a thrilling 45 a Euro 44 home win over Panathinaikos in the fifth and last match. In the next season, 1995 a Euro 1996, Olimiakos didn't make the final four, but the season ended in an extremely memorable way 
because in the last game of the best of five series of the Greek League finals, Olimiako smashed arch rivals Panathinaikos with a shocking 73 Euro 38 victory, an all time record victory margin for the Greek League finals and the second largest winning margin in an Olympiakos Euro Panathinaikos game after Olimiako's 110 Euro 68 record away win against Panathinaikos in the Greek Cup. In 1977, European champions a Euro Triple Crown glory. In the 1996 Euro 1997 season, with a new coach, Duan Ivkovia at the bench, the Reds and their fans had more hope than ever for the European title. In the regular season of the Euroleague Olimiakos performance was not as good as it was in the previous years, but in the playoffs they were impressive, breaking twice their opponent's home court advantage. Their first victim was Partizan. In a strange best of three series, Olimiakos won the first match in Belgrade, lost the second at Peace and Friendship Stadium, which disappointed their fans, and finally won the third game in Belgrade, which advanced them to the quarter-finals where the defending champions Panathinaikos were waiting for them with a home court advantage. Panathinaikos was ready to stop their rivals and revenge them for the last year's opprobrious defeat in the Greek finals. In the first game of the series at Panathinaikos' home, the Athens Olympic Indoor Hall, Olimiakos once again stunned the Greens, beating them 69 Euro 49 in front of their own fans. In the second match, at Peace and Friendship Stadium, in front of 17,000 Reds fans, Olimiakos beat Panathinaikos by a score of 65 Euro 57 and advanced to the Final Four in Rome. Olimiakos were the unquestionable favourites to win the championship. Finally, they made it, by beating Union Olympija 74 Euro 65 in the semi-final and FC Barcelona 73 Euro 58 in the final. Olimiakos fans were quick to sing that, in Rome, in the final, we lifted the European trophy. This remains one of the club's most popular chants today. Olimiakos then easily achieved the coveted Triple Crown, they won the Greek League title, the Greek Cup, and finally the EuroLeague. Olimiakos was the first Greek team to have won the Triple Crown and remained the only one up until 2007. McDonald's finalist. In October of the same year, the club played in the 1997 McDonald's Championship, in Paris. Having defeated Atenas de Car Cube de Doba in the semi final by 89 Euro 86, Olimiakos played against the NBA champions Chicago Bulls in the final. The game was played under zone friendly European rules, but, out of respect for the Bulls, Olimiakos never used a zone defense. Olimiakos was defeated 78 Euro 104 by one of the greatest basketball players ever, Michael Jordan. In the 1997 Euro 1998 season, Olimiakos were once again the favourites in all the competitions they were taking part. They started the season with an impressive record of consecutive wins in Greece and Europe. But in the second half of the season, things went wrong for the team. Olimiakos played in the round of 16 of the EuroLeague, with a home court advantage against Partizan in a three-game series, but they lost both matches in Athens and Belgrade and the European champions suffered an early and disappointing elimination. In the Greek Cup's Final Four, they faced Panathinaikos for the third place and they won easily. In the Greek League, Olimiakos finished the regular season in second place, behind Panathinaikos. In the semi-finals, Olimiakos faced PAOK, having a home court advantage in a best-of-three series. In the first match in Athens, Olimiakos took a tight 66 Euro 65 win and held the advantage. They lost the second match in Thessaloniki, and the last game was held again in Athens. Olimiakos lost 58 to Euro 55 in Neo Palero, marking the first ever defeat for the team in Peace and Friendship Stadium during the Greek playoffs. The Reds didn't have the chance to defend their crown and they ended up in third place, with a 3 Euro 1 series win over AEK Athens. The 1998 Euro 1999 season didn't begin well because in the season's opening match of the Greek Cup, Olimiakos was eliminated by PAOK. The Reds played once again in the EuroLeague Final Four, and although they were considered the favourites to win the title, 
they lost 71 Euro 87 in the semi-final to the eventual winners Angstrom 1 half Algaris. They finished third, defeating Team System Bologna 74 Euro 63 in the third place game. In the Greek league they were the favourites to win the championship, but despite having the home advantage in the finals against Panathinaikos, they were defeated in the last game of the series at home and lost the title. That was the first time Olimiakos lost a playoff game to Panathinaikos in SEF after 10 consecutive wins. In the 1999 Euro 2000 season, Olimiakos didn't make the EuroLeague playoffs as they were eliminated in the round of 16 by Union Olympija. On the contrary, they finished first in the regular season of the Greek League and entered the playoffs having home court advantage. But in the semi finals, they played against fourth placed PAOK and they were eliminated, losing the first game at home and the second one in the Salona Key. Olimiakos faced AEK for the third place and won. 2000s, 2000 Euro 2002, in the 2000 Euro 2001 season, Olimiakos played in the first EuroLeague competition organized by EuroLeague Basketball, but despite having home court advantage in the playoffs they were eliminated by TAU Saramica. In the Greek League finals, they finished second. In the 2001 Euro 2002 season the club managed to win the Greek Cup, their first trophy since 1997, in a Final Four tournament that was held at Peace and Friendship Stadium. They beat Panathinaikos in the semi-final and Marousi in the final. Then they came within one victory of the EuroLeague Final Four. He played in the top 16 in a group against Panathinaikos, AEK Athens and Union Olympija, with only the first-placed team advancing to the Final Four. After Olimiakos completed an easy 92 Euro 75 win over Panathinaikos in the opening home match, another home win against AEK and an away win against Olympija, he played an away game against Panathinaikos and lost 78 to Euro 88. The score of that game gave the Reds the aggregate advantage in case they finished on the top of the group along with their rivals. However, in the fifth group game, the weakest team of the group, Union Olympija, stunned Olimiakos and Athens by winning their single game in the group. This put Olimiakos in second place and kept them out of the final four. In the Greek league the Reds managed to break the home court advantage of Panathinaikos in the playoff semi-final, and after a thrilling second win at home, they eliminated them and made it to the finals. Despite starting the finals with a 2 0 0 lead after two comfortable wins against AEK, they finally lost their title. Olimiakos was one of the EuroLeague's most dangerous teams in 2002-2003 as well. The club came closer than any team to knocking off the eventual champions Barcelona in two heartbreaking games in the EuroLeague top 16 groups, and proved, despite the fact that they were not at their best during the early 2000s, that they are able to beat any team at any time. 2003 Euro 2005 crisis, the 2003 Euro 2004 and 2004 Euro 2005 seasons were the worst in the modern history of Olimiakos. In both seasons, the team was eliminated in the Greek Cup and finished in the eighth place of the Greek League. Especially in the latter season, Olimiakos had a dismaying performance in the EuroLeague, which filled many of its fans with uncertainty. 2006 A Euro The Rebirth The 2005 A Euro 2006 season saw the return of the Red Giants, which overcame the previous down years with a nice combination of young talent and experienced veterans which paid off for the club. Players added to the club like Rinaldas Sebutis, Quincy Lewis, Panagetis Vasilopoulos, Georgios Printezi and, above all, Sophocles Shortsonitis, were viewed by some to be a possible solid core of players for the team for many years to come. That season seemed to be very promising for the Red Giants. However, the promising Reds were eliminated from the Greek Cup in their first knockout match of the competition. Olimiakos survived a difficult EuroLeague regular season and shined in the top 16, advancing to the quarter-final playoffs. The Reds were just a win away from making it to the Final Four for the first time since 1999. Maccabi Tel Aviv won the best of three playoff series to a Euro 1, but Game 3 went down to the wire. Experience proved to be a decisive factor in the final two minutes of the game, 
when the hosts managed to seal a 77 a Euro 73 win in advance to the Final Four in Prague. TR Sydney earned Euroleague February MVP honours, as well as ranking third in assists at the end of the regular season and second in the top 16. Olimiakos also shined in its domestic competition, as the Reds made it to the Greek League finals for the first time in five years by surviving a thrilling five-game series against Morousi. Despite their losing in the final playoff series, it was clear that the Reds were back where they used to be, becoming a team able to challenge for every title. In the 2006 Euro 2007 season, with the signings of head coach Pni Gershon and Arvidas Mayajorskas, the Reds were one of the favorites to claim the Euroleague crown, but they didn't manage to qualify to the Athens Final Four. They were eliminated from the Greek Cup as well. In the Greek League playoffs, they made it to the finals after winning three a Euro two a best of five semi final against Ares. Although Olimiakos had to overcome their home court disadvantage, they won the last match in Thessaloniki and made it to the best of five finals, having again a home court disadvantage this time against Panathinaikos. The club had to beat their arch-rivals in order to win their first Greek championship since 1997. But they finished second in one of the best final series ever played in the Greek league. At the inaugural game in Panathinaikos' home, the Reds lost 72 a Euro 79, but they won the second game in Peace and Friendship Stadium 76 a Euro 72. In the third match, Olimiakos lost 86 a Euro 85 in overtime, with the Reds complaining furiously against the referees, who didn't call a clear foul against Skoni Penn with only three seconds left in the game. Olimiakos won easily 78 a Euro 68 in Piraeus but in the last away game the Reds lost 76 a Euro 89. 2007 a Euro 2008 season In the 2007 a Euro 08 season, Olimiakos was once again considered amongst the favourites to reach the final four of the Euroleague. It was also considered one of the two favourites, along with Panathinaikos, to win the Greek championship. In the Greek league regular season the team had a record of 22 wins and four defeats, and had the second most prolific offensive team in the league. In the quarter-finals of the playoffs, Olimiakos swept AEK Athens in a best-of-three series and in the semi-finals they beat Marousi in a best-of-five series, three a Euro two. They finally finished second, losing in the finals of the Greek League. They also reached the final of the Greek Cup after four years, but they didn't manage to take the title. In the EuroLeague, the team qualified for the third phase of the competition, where it was eliminated by the eventual winners CSKA Moscow. 2008 a Euro 2009 season. The 2008 a Euro 09 season began with high expectations due to a big budget and a great roster. The club's season was only moderately successful, however, as they reached the finals of both the Greek Cup and the Greek Championship. In the Greek Championship regular season, the team set a record with 25 wins against only one defeat, but in the finals of the Greek League playoffs, they lost the series 3 a Euro 1 despite having the home court advantage. In the EuroLeague, they reached the Final Four for the first time in ten years, eliminating Real Madrid with three Euro 1 wins. 2009 Euro 2010 season The 2009 Euro 10 season was the best after a long time for Olympiacos. The management wanted to bring another big player to the team, after Josh Childress. And they did, agreeing with the NBA player of Denver Nuggets Linus Kleiser. With these two the club managed to take the Greek Cup defeating their arch-rivals Panathinaikos 68 a Euro 64 in the final. In the EuroLeague, the Reds reached once again the Final Four which was held in Paris. In the semi-final the team managed to defeat Partizan 83 a Euro 80 in overtime, but lost 68 a Euro 86 to FC Barcelona in the final. In the Greek Championship Finals, the club lost three a Euro 1 wins to Panathinaikos after an intense third game that would have put them ahead 1 a Euro 2, with the Reds having again huge complaints over the referee's performance. The fourth game of the series was disrupted several times and the arena was cleared of all fans in order to complete the remaining few minutes. 2010s 2010 a Euro 2011 season, 
In July 2010 Olimiakos offers a three-year contract of a 13,200,000 gross income to the famous Greek guard Vasilis Spanoulis and comes to an agreement with a player. The great Serbian coach Duan Ivkovia agrees with the club and with a roster of players such as Milo Teodosia, Vasilis Spanoulis, Theo Papelkas, Laukas Mavrakavalidis, Jamon Gordon, Radoslav Nesterovia and Ioannis Borousis. Olimiakos becomes a favourite to win the 2010 11 EuroLeague. In the opening game of the top 16, Olimiakos gets an 70 Euro 84 defeat in Athens from Fina Bahar's Section E Oelka, but one month later, Olimiakos defeated the Turkish champions with a 65 Euro 80 win in Istanbul and took the first place of the top 16 Group H. In the quarter finals, Olimiakos faced Montepoisiana. In the first game of a best of five series, the Reds achieved a great performance, defeating Montepoli with an 89 Euro 41 score at the Peace and Friendship Stadium in Athens. But the Italian club managed to win the second game, breaking the home advantage of the Reds. Olimiakos didn't manage to win any of the next two away games and got eliminated from the 2010 Euro 11 Euro League Final Four. In May 15, 2011, Olimiakos defeated arch rivals Panathinaikos 74 Euro 68 in the Greek Cup final and won the ninth cup in the Kluba Euro unregistered trademark S history. In the Greek league, Olimiakos takes the first place in the regular season, and despite earning home court advantage for the finals, they lose the first game at home and with a 3 Euro 1 defeat in a best of five series, they let the championship slip away. 2011 Euro 2012 season the Euro Euroleague champions, Greek champions, in the summer of 2011 Olimiakos saw many experienced players leave after a reduction of the team's budget by over 50%. The youthful team under coach Duan Ivkovia depended initially on leader Vasilis Spanoulis, losing games regularly when he wasn't playing. The team that the press thought might not even qualify for the top 16 improved dramatically during the season and under the great performances of Vasilis Spanoulis, Giorgios Printezi, Costas Paper Nicolao, Kyle Hines, Joey Dorsey, Piero Ancha and AC Law, Olimiakos reached a 2011 Euro 12 Final Four in Istanbul after breaking the home advantage of Montepoi Siena winning with a 75 Euro 82 in the first game of a best of five series in Italy in a reversal of last season's quarter-finals. Going to Istanbul as an outsider, Olimiakos beat the two favourites, FC Barcelona in the semi-final with a score 68-64 and CSKA Moscow in the final with a 62-61 score, coming back after trailing by 19 points in the most dramatic final in the history of EuroLeague basketball. Printezi scored a game-winner with a few tenths of a second left to give Olimiakos the win. The most successful season of the Reds since 1997 was completed by seizing the Greek championship from arch-rivals Panathinaikos, winning the best of five series 3 a Euro 2. 2012 a Euro 2013 season the Euro back-to-back -back Euro League champions, intercontinental champions, in 2013 Olimiakos, under the guidance of coach Giogos Bartsokas, became Euro League champion for the second year in a row becoming the only team after Maccabi Tel Aviv to become back-to-back -back EuroLeague champions in the EuroLeague basketball company era. After rolling past CSKA Moscow 69 Euro 52 in the semi-final, they managed to best Real Madrid 100 Euro 88 in the final at the O2 Arena in London, roaring back from a 17-point deficit. EuroLeague MVP Vasilis Spanoulis led the charge with 22 points, and was eventually voted Final Four MVP. After winning the EuroLeague Championship for the second straight season, Olimiakos qualified to play at the 2013 edition of the FIBA Intercontinental Cup, against the 2013 FIBA Americas League champions, Pinero Sky, for the Club World Cup title. Olimiakos won the two-game aggregate score series two games to zero, winning the first game of the series by a score of 81-70 and the second game of the series by a score of 86-69. Vasilis Spanoulis was named the 2013 FIBA Intercontinental Cup MVP. Arena and Logos, Arena, Olimiakos long-time home court the Peace and Friendship Stadium, which is an indoor arena located in Faliro, Piraeus, on the Athens coastland, 
exactly opposite of Olimiakos FC Football Department's ground, Kareskakis Stadium. The arena opened in 1985 and Olimiakos has been using it since 1991. It was one of the biggest European arenas with a capacity of 17,000 seats, however, it was reduced to 12,171 seats for the 2004 Olympics. Currently, it seats 14,950. SEF hosted the indoor volleyball tournament of the 2004 Summer Olympics, while it was the hosting venue of the Eurobasket 1987 and 1998 FIBA World Championship. The stadium was renovated for the 2004 Summer Olympics. Players, 2014 the Euro 2015 roster. Depth chart, squad changes for the 2014 the Euro 2015 season, in, note, flags indicate national team, as has been defined under FIBA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIBA nationality. Out, note, flags indicate national team as has been defined under FIBA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIBA nationality. Honours Total titles, 23, domestic competitions, Greek Championship, winners, 1949, 1960, 1976, 1978, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 2012. Greek Cup, winners, 1976, 1977, 1978, 1980, 1994, 1997, 2002, 2010, 2011. European Competitions, Euroleague, winners, 1997, 2012, 2013. Triple Crown, winners, 1997. Worldwide Competitions, Intercontinental Cup, Winners, 2013. International record. The road to EuroLeague victories, the road to the 2013 EuroLeague victory, biggest wins in Champions Cup and EuroLeague. Matches against NBA teams. On October 18, 1997, Olimiakos became the first Greek team to play against an NBA team. As European champions, he played against the back-to-back -back NBA champions Chicago Bulls in the final of the 1997 McDonald's Championship in Paris. The game was played under zone-friendly European rules, but, out of respect for the Bulls, Olimiakos never used a zone defense. Olimiakos lost 78 to Euro 104, with a legendary Michael Jordan scoring 27 points. In October 2009, Olimiakos visited the United States on his 2009 NBA tour and played against the San Antonio Spurs in AT&T Center and against the Cleveland Cavaliers in Quicken Loans Arena. Seasons A1 Basket Seasons, Notable Players To appear in this section a player must have either played at least one season for the club, set a club record or won an individual award while at the club, played at least one official international match for their national team at any time, to perform very successfully during period in the club or at later previous stages of his career. Notable coaches, Giannis Spinaudakis, Fdon Machtha, Kostas Mourauzis, Giannis Ioannidis, Duan Ivkovia Jonas Kazoskas, Pni Jershon, Panagetis Giannikis, Giogos Bartsokas, Sponsorships, Official Shirt Sponsor a Euro OPAP, Official shirt sponsor a Euro PSA Peugeot Citroën N, official sport clothing manufacturer a Euro Nike, Incorporated. Official healthcare service provider a Euro Athens Medical Group, official broadcaster a Euro New Hellenic Television, official sponsor a Euro OTE, official sponsor a Euro Total, official pharmaceutical sponsor a Euro Zilalis Sport Medicine, official sport drink a Euro Gatorade. Official sport drink a Euro Pepsi Max, official travel provider a Euro SEA Travel, official sponsor a Euro Pizza Fun, references. External links, official website, olimiakos at euroleague.net, Galenis Sports Data, basketpatia.com history, past players, stats.